Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel, and this is going to be a general, I don't see the update to a new version. So whatever you are, wherever you are, Windows 11 or on Windows 10, there are of course different versions of Windows. Uh, we're going to start with Windows 10 users about uh, being on 21H1, still not seeing 21H2 as we are getting closer to end of support. Uh, my first thing that I'm going to say here is don't worry too much right now. It's not much of a problem. And if you don't see it, we'll talk about it as we get real close. I'll talk about it to give you ways and links to um, upgrade and force update your machine. Um, not seeing it in general means that Microsoft has a flag or something that they see in the telemetry that might not be compatible or they just are not taking any chances. 95% of I don't see it doesn't mean you're not compatible. It could simply be a small little something that they're not sure yet. So in general, force updating is okay and will work fine. But um, I would wait, you know, just to be on the safe side, just wait until we're getting close to that date. I'll actually give you links and tell you how to upgrade to that new version if you get there uh, close to end of support in uh, December. The uh, other thing that I hear a lot is, uh, how come I don't see 22H2? I see that you have 22H2 and that, um, you know, I, I don't get why I'm not getting 22H2. That's simply because it's not out yet. I actually put myself temporarily in the release preview ring of the Insider program in order to get it already, 22H2. There's also a download that you can click to get it. It's not out yet. It will be out sometime in October. So, you know, during the month of October, at some point, you're going to start seeing 22H2 pop up on your machine. So don't worry that you don't see it. It's not out yet, officially. Now, the Windows 11 side. Windows 11, uh, for those that are on Windows 10 with supported hardware, there are still some people that are not being offered Windows 11. Definitely. Uh, there are different things. We talked yesterday about the uh, Intel Smart Sound technology. That's one of the things that might prevent you. If you have that on your computer, that is a possibility of why you don't see uh, Windows 11 at all because there's a hole on that. Now, um, there are other types of reasons why Windows 11 might not be there, including software that you have installed that might not be tested properly or still unknown of compatibility. Uh, technically, if you upgrade to Windows 11, for most that don't see it, it probably is okay, but you know, you don't need to do that, that and you can wait. You know, I mean, Windows 10 is still supported for a long time, so for, for three years, so, you know, uh, you got time, and you'll get it when you want to get it. And finally, for those on Windows 11, not seeing 22H2, it's totally normal. It just came out. So they are still in the phase of really, really slowly, uh, you know, offering it to some known PCs that will be okay, and you will eventually see it. Don't worry if you don't see it right now. Uh, not that many people actually see it when they go and look for for 22H2 on Windows 11. So just, you know, relax. Um, I think there's too many of you out there that are a little, uh, you know, uh, worried because of not seeing an update yet. Don't worry too much about that. Um, it will show up in time. And if not, we're here to help you move on if you can. And last but not least, I'll remind everybody that if you are on an unsupported device, uh, yes, you can get 22H2, but it won't come through the Windows update. You'll have to manually update it uh, yourself for clean install with 22H2. Uh, that is probably the bad, uh, the you know, the sad thing about unsupported hardware is that it's harder to move on. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.